What is up you guys? I am Missy Renee and in today's video we're going to talk about changing the old story and some of the ways that we are going about doing this completely wrong and what we can do to fix this so that we can manifest anything that we want. So if manifestation and conscious creation are topics that you are interested in learning more about, then definitely do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Also be sure to hit that thumbs up button. This tells the YouTube algorithm to put this video in front of more people so that they can get this life-changing information. If you are interested in any of my resources, such as one-on-one -on -one coaching, my workshops, or my Facebook group, I will have links down to all of that in the description box below, so don't forget to check them out. And if you're somebody who has been studying the law of assumption, or even the law of attraction, you've probably heard the phrase, changing the old story. In essence, it is rejecting the previous circumstances or the current circumstances that we are in, in order to create a new. Now there's a couple of things that I've noticed over the years that I have been coaching and talking to people about the law in ways that we get sort of tangled up in this notion of the old story. And as humans, <laughs> as creatures of habit, we tend to instead perpetuate more of the same instead of changing that story and choosing a new outcome. And I know I was certainly guilty of this when I was beginning on my journey. So if this sounds like you, if you have been struggling to change the old story, if you have been having trouble in creating that new outcome and maintaining that new desired state, then definitely stick around to the end of the video because we're going to talk all about changing the old story, what it means, what most of us are doing wrong, and ultimately some tips and ideas to fix this so that you can maintain that new state of consciousness and manifest that new story of whatever it is you desire. So first off, what the hell do I mean when I talk about changing the old story? For those who may be brand new to the law, brand new to manifestation, what the hell does this even mean? Changing the old story essentially means that you are no longer going off of past events or past circumstance. You are taking all of the things that may have happened and essentially throwing them in the trash bin because that's where they belong. Changing that old story means that you are no longer letting what has happened or what has transpired from allowing you to move into a new state and start creating a new story and new circumstances, desired outcomes instead. So for example, if you've always had the issue of somebody cheating on you, if that has been something that you've had happen over and over and over again, then that's likely a big aspect of your old story in regards to the relationships that you've had. The problem becomes when we reinforce this old story, when we keep telling ourselves over and over that this thing happened, we are actually perpetuating that. So if my experiences have always been poor and broke, and I am reinforcing that all day, every day, that is only going to keep me locked in that story. It's only going to keep me locked into the state of poverty. And we do this because of our concept of time, linear time, and the events that have happened to us. And we take the events that have happened to us and use that almost as a predetermination of what is going to happen. I'm sure virtually everyone watching this video has had this similar type of experience. If the old story has always been one of hard work and struggle and sacrifice and never having enough and going without and barely scraping by, then when something comes up for you, then you automatically begin to start going into fear mode, thinking that because I have always experienced broke, because I have always experienced hardship, then ultimately it's gonna keep happening to me. 
and through this reinforcement and because we take past circumstances and use it to apply what is going to happen to us in the future, we are keeping ourselves in that cycle, cementing that story as a belief that because this is how it's always been, it's always going to happen this way. If you observe your thoughts and you observe the conversations that you have with other people in your day to day, you're going to see that there is always a story being perpetuated based on our beliefs, based on the past experiences, based on what we assume is going to happen because of the past experiences, and round and round and round we go. And this is ultimately the cycle that needs to be broken. And we break the cycle by changing the old story. We change the story to reject any potential outcome that is not wanted. We change the story so that we can break these patterns and cycles once and for all. Because it's important to understand that just because something happened does not mean that it is going to happen in the future. Instead, we want to choose a new story. We want to create a new story based on our desired outcomes, based on what we want to have happen instead of the bad things that did. We create the new story and have faith and trust in that new story that as the operant power, it must come to pass. Now, one of the common issues that people have when it comes to faith in the new story is that it's not an experience that they are used to. It's not the outcome that is typically unfolded for them. So one of the most common questions that I get asked is about faith and how do we have faith in the desired outcome? How do we trust that what we ultimately want is going to happen? And I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret when it comes to faith. You already have faith in a particular outcome because we are always manifesting. We are always creating. This is not something that starts and stops. This is something that is perpetual and ongoing. We always have and we always will. For those of us that live in fear of what we don't want, it's a perfect example of keeping the faith because chronic and obsessive fear is ultimately just faith in what you don't want. Many, many times we've probably heard somebody say, I know I'm gonna get screwed on this somehow. I know that they're not gonna ultimately pick me. I know I'm not gonna get that promotion. I know that I'm not gonna get that raise. I know that that person is lying to me. I know they don't really care about me. I know that I'm gonna wind up just miserable and unhappy, so why even bother? Why should I even try? Always remember that fear is perfect trust in the opposite direction. Fear is perfect trust in what you don't want. And this is something that I'd argue most people can relate to and that most of us have done. Everything that you fear is teaching you how to apply the law in the opposite direction. But it is faith nonetheless. When you know that something terrible is gonna happen, you have faith in that outcome. And then ultimately, that outcome comes to pass. And in the same way that we are so fearful about the things that we don't want and so trusting in the things that we do not want to experience, we can learn that kind of focus, that kind of intensity, and that kind of trust and use it to our advantage instead. Now, I know there's already some of you saying that, well, yeah, Missy, of course it feels easier to believe that all of these terrible things can happen because that has been my experience. I don't know what it actually feels like when I think about my desire because I've never experienced it. How do I know what something feels like if it's something that I haven't experienced or if it's something that has not been often, if it's been something scarce in my life? And this is where changing the story comes in because of course, it feels effortless and normal to you if that has always been the circumstance and the story that has been obtained. Because we all have a story. We all have circumstances that have happened to us and what we've experienced 
and what we're currently experiencing now. And then we take all of these stories and all of the context of what has happened and what is happening now and use that to build some sort of context to the future outcome. This has always been how it works since forever. You're creating a story all the time. So we're taught to change the old story, but here is where the breakdown happens. When we set about trying to change the old story, we still, whether consciously or not, are bringing elements of the old into the new fold. Even in this new story, in this new picture that we are creating, we'll still take these examples, these circumstances, these traits, what have you, we will take them into that new story. And by doing so, it feels like we have to change that person or we have to change that dynamic. And if this is the way that we're going about doing this, then of course it's going to feel challenging, which is why I don't even really like the term changing the old story, because that implies that we are trying to force a change to the old state. But here is the key. We are not trying to change that old state. We are instead moving into a new one entirely. We are dropping all of the ties, all of the old, any old situation or circumstance or person, whatever it might be. We are not taking any of those aspects with us into the new story. Anything that was unwanted, anything undesirable, that goes away entirely. Because as I said earlier, what happened in the past has no bearing on what is going to happen in the future. We are not so much changing the old story as we are choosing a new one. And this is the approach that we need to take towards manifesting anything. We don't think about how we need to change our SP or how our SP needs to change for them to come back. We forget the negative history completely because we want to manifest a specific version of them that is in no way influenced by the version that may be in front of you now. And we do this by understanding that this universe is a quantum universe. All things already exist because creation is completely finished. There are infinite versions of everyone, past, present, future. We are always moving in and out of different realities, in and out of different states of consciousness, interacting with different versions of the same person. We need to always remember that there are countless and infinite versions of everyone, including you, and the actual physical experience that you have or that you have had in the past is only one of literally infinite possibilities that exist. The problem becomes that our human mind cannot perceive more than one state at a time, which is why everything looks like it's happening in succession, why it looks linear, but this is not what's actually happening. This is why our ego mind or that naysay voice in the back of our mind is always taking these events and situations of the past and using it as cause and effect. But moments are not successive. And one moment doesn't just come after another. One moment doesn't cause the other. There is no cause and effect outside of you and your own imagination. One way to look at this is remembering that every moment is a blank slate. And whatever happened even five minutes ago has no influence on what is going to happen. Every moment is a brand new start. You can also look at this akin to a streaming service. And that's an analogy that I use all the time. There are countless shows and countless movies that we could watch at any given time. They all exist right now, but we can only watch one show or one film at a time. And the one that you experience or watch 
is the one based on the beliefs and assumptions that you carry, but they can be changed. We have the power to change that channel. We have the power to create or choose the new experience and the new outcome and the completely new version to experience. So going forward, I want all of you to remember always that everything already exists and that whatever has happened has no influence or bearing on what can happen. It all comes down to what we choose and what we select. Keep yourself very, very present, as present as possible, much as you can. Remember that each moment is a blank slate. It is a fresh start. In this moment, you have the power of choice. You have the power of selection because you are the operant power, not the circumstance. Always remember that linear time is an illusion. It's not real. The only cause and effect that actually exists is within our own mind, is within our own wonderful human imagination. So choose a new story. Forget changing the old story. Choose a new one. Choose a new outcome today, right now, in this moment. Because it's in this moment that literally infinite realities are open and just waiting for your occupation. Once you do this, once you fully decide to change that channel and begin to choose the outcome and choose the person anew, that is when you'll see everything begin to change. That is how we truly change the circumstance. And that is how we manifest anything that we want. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, do not forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you are interested in checking out any of my other resources, such as one-on-one -on -one coaching, my blog, my social channels, my podcast, my workshops, I have so much good stuff for y'all down in the description box, so definitely be sure to check it all out. Also, do not forget to check out these videos over here. Each video is a different topic, but they all talk about how to manifest the best life possible. So until we meet again, you guys, take care, be well, and never forget to choose the new story. Every moment is a blank slate, ready to be painted anew. Happy manifesting, y'all.